All of the Santas have different routines. Some of them want the children's names. So as you're leading the youngster from the magic tree, you say, now what was your name again? It's just on the tip of my brain where I can't get at it. And they'll say their name and you go, oh yeah, that's right, Van. Then you lead the way to Santa's door and you say, let me just check to see if he's ready. And you pop your head inside and you whisper, Van. Half the time, you usher the child in and Santa will say, Stan, it's so good to see you. I mean, it is hard to keep these names straight. Some of these are names I have never heard of. Venetia, Fontage, great, great. A child's name was great. I'm great. There's a name that's bound to prove challenging once he's old enough to start sleeping around. Santa Howard uses the children's names. He puts them on his lap, he gives them a hearty chuckle, and then he asks them what they want for Christmas, but then he asks them what they plan to leave him to eat on Christmas Eve. And they'll say, cookies and milk. And he'll say, well, what kind of cookies? And they'll say, chocolate chip, or whatever. But he demands that the photo elf say, chocolate chip, that's Santa's favorite kind of cookie. I don't mind saying it, but I must have said it like 60 times today. Well, in the afternoon, Santa Howard got this Asian child who wasn't familiar with the idea of leaving cookies and milk. So when he asked her what she planned to leave him to eat, she got this puzzled look on her face. And he said, uh, uh, something round to eat? And the little girl said, a potato? I hate working with Santa Doug, who tends to spit when he talks. I mean, it just gushes out every time the man opens his mouth. Today, this little girl was wiping her face saying, Santa, why are you spitting on me? He explained that it wasn't spit, that it was simply frost coming off of his beard. Yeah, that might work on a six-year-old, but what does this guy tell his friends? The worst is Santa Santa. I, I don't know this guy's real name. No one does. During most days, there's a, you know, a bit of a slow period where you sit around and you talk to your Santa. Most of them are nice guys and you sit around and, and you laugh. But Santa Santa takes himself a bit too seriously. I, I asked him where he lived. I'm like, well, you uh, Brooklyn or Manhattan? And he said, well, I live at the North Pole with Mrs. Claus. And I said, yeah, what, what do you do for the rest of the year? And he said, well, I make toys for all the children. And I was like, yeah, but what do you do for money? Santa doesn't need any money. Santa, Santa will sit and wave and jingle his bell sash when there's no one there. One time he actually recited the night before Christmas when there was just the two of us in the house. No children, just us. What do you do with a nut like that? He'll say, uh, uh, little elf, little elf, bring Santa a throat lozenge. I reminded him that I have a name, Crumpet, and then I brought him a throat lozenge.